if I'm taking the trash out and someone pulled up in a car, rolled down their window and said like, good morning, you woke pussy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Slander going in my direction of a monument somewhere. <laughs> this this face of a, a thing that got carved into the side of a mountain somewhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. We need to get some. Uh, we need to get really nailed down and see exactly who this person might be it's unbelievable. and who they think it looks like. Somebody on the show. This was added in our group chat. It's uncanny. I, mean, that's I said I had to ask. I don't know. I'm not sure who they think this person might be. Exact replica of you. I was. Well, AJ, can you look up? Let me see. Where am I? Yeah, what do you? What do you want? Yeah. I mean, it it is you. I'm not gonna lie. The nose is exactly. I'm the not. Same. Yeah. I. The, f the second I saw it, I thought it was me for a minute. Yeah. I was like, oh, what is that? Some like picture they took from a long ways away? I mean, who this is, uh, who is it again? Stonehenge. Nope. No. Stonehenge doesn't have The back of Mount Rushmore? No, who is this This is a monument of? It's in South Dakota, though. Someone they, sent it in earlier. Who carved it? Oh, it is? Crazy Horse or something, I think they said? Crazy Horse. Yeah, there it is. Oh, which way should I turn? Uh, no, other, other way. way. No, look like just straight. This way? Yeah, maybe just tilt your chin up a little. Yeah, there it is. I mean, so I can't tell which size is which. It's, it's crazy. A, it's a dead ringer. Yeah. It really is shocking. Good for you, AJ. Yeah. I appreciate it. I don't know if this yeah. is a family member of mine that, that carved my face into this mountain or what, but I, I do appreciate it. Hawk Mountain. Can you walk on the head up there? I, it looks like I would it. assume so. It looks like it. How do we not know about this? Like, how long has this yeah, been? Yeah, Crazy Horse. He was a Native American. Uh, of the. He was the leader of the Lakota people. Yeah, sorry about it. Are you Native American? I could be. See Troy Vincent Sr. here. We got breaking news, I guess. Popped up a tweet a little bit ago, right? With, with Zeke, how long was this? Uh, he tweeted like like at 42, so like 8. Oh, so thanks ago. for oh, okay. watching the show. 8, 10 minutes. At the Prospects breakfast before the draft, Anthony exhibited a heartfelt act of kindness, humility, and service. This carried me through the day, and by midnight, it just had to be shared with the club because film cannot measure this depth of character. Wow. So we nailed it. So Troy Vincent couldn't stop thinking about it. At a prospect's breakfast? Is that what it Yep. Because we've been really trying See, to nail down exactly thing. what this event <laughs> this was, thing. right? People were just fucking throwing eggs and shit yeah. all over the place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real. What are you guys doing at this yeah, breakfast? Throwing uh, rolls. Jalen like, Carter. Food fuck! Because I wonder if... Like, yeah, for <laughs> they real. start chucking food. Is there a chance that... They thought it was like a restaurant and that they bust your table for you and they just left. Probably. Is that what it is? Diggs might have been onto something. They might have had hash browns. They might have been putting ketchup, ketchup packets on the ground and just fucking yeah. squirting them I everywhere. You might, might be right, happened. man. Yeah, How especially long did it if take? Will Levis was there. Yeah. He might have just been eating so fucking hard that he just got <laughs> slammed on the off. table. Yeah. And just eating as fast as possible all the eggs he could, and then they just got everywhere. They could have had guys like dumping syrup all over the ground, too. Just a sticky mess everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Would they do anything? Yeah. <laughs> Banana peels on the ground. Well, they're kids, you know. They're that's young. That's, yeah. that's, that's what kids that's, got millions of dollars. Doing yeah. That. Yeah. They might have been trying to give someone an awful waffle. Yeah. What, is that, what exactly is that, Nick? AJ, if you have to ask, you I do have to ask. Honestly, know. I assume it's something terrible. Like you take it out of your butt cheeks or something. Whoa, and make it eat. What? Please, what is please. it, Pat? Did you see any of this Devonte stuff? Yeah, I did. What? What's so I don't think I knew. I don't think I knew anything about Devonte. Did you? I was reading his quotes. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that's the way Devonte. Devonte's <laughs> awesome. I, yeah, I mean, that is. I didn't expect a lot. Yeah, I don't see eye to eye with the Raiders right now on how they're thinking about running their fucking offense. Okay, awesome. Head coach is the offense coordinator. Love that. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> um, and by the way, I agree. If Devontae thinks it, I mean, Devontae has every right to think it. And then I also enjoyed him saying, like, yeah, you can just write down, fuck all the numbers. Didn't need Aaron Rodgers. So <laughs> I love that. Never, ever, fucking, ever say that again, I think, or something <laughs> like that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I would like Devontae to do more interviews, I think, is what I learned. I would like him to talk all the time. If we get a microphone at his locker, I'd be appreciative because I didn't know anything about him. AJ, were you teammates with him? Oh, yeah. I was teammates with him uh, for a year and then was with him at the Derby. I didn't I didn't know all this strife was happening uh, with the Raiders just a couple weeks ago when I was with him, yeah. I love that. Now people can't say that. That'll never be the narrative ever again. It proved that I am me. A quarterback doesn't make me. I make me. And I can do it consistently at this level. After being named All-Pro last year without Aaron Rodgers and with Carr as his quarterback, he 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 didn't throw Carr under the bus, obviously, because they know each other from college. Uh -huh. But he almost said, you seen what the fuck I was dealing with last year. <laughs> yeah. I made All-Pro. Uh, no, he what almost he said. He said it. Yeah. He, he said that Carr was nowhere near as good – as this other guy over here. He basically said Carr was a piece of work. <laughs> a piece of shit that he was playing with last year. Hey, this piece of shit that I was playing with last year. Did y'all see it? Y'all fired him halfway through the season. <laughs>
<laughs> his college roommate. It, it's yeah. al- it's almost kind of like an MJ thing too, where someone probably was just like, Devontae, you're so lucky to play with Aaron Rodgers, and yeah. they didn't mean to have it as like a shot. But Devontae was probably like, fuck, well, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is so lucky to play with me. What what about me? Well, I'm sure some some reporters I'm sure have asked them questions over the years where they were just kind of. I'm sure it was their tone and how they talked to us. So, do you think you could do this without Aaron? Yeah. Like, oh, like, I'm sure there's multiple that stick in his mind where he's like, all right, man, like, no. Now, no. Devontae, you would have to admit, pretty easy to be open when yeah. you have a quarterback that can throw the ball into a dartboard. Yeah. That's exactly time. how it sounds, too. Yeah. Yep. They're exactly. That's, that, he's and had what that for years. Hears, yeah. What Devontae hears is, Devontae, uh, any fucking clown could do what you do uh, with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. and now he's airing it out. Now he's letting us know. You can never ever fucking say Bob that. Domofsky. Yeah, fucking Bob no, Domofsky. That wasn't a Bob. Was that a Bob invitation by you? That wasn't. I, was I don't think I've ever Bob. heard Bob talk. I was. That was just my standard <laughs> insider media reporter voice, just because that is what it sounds like. You know, how in the Peanuts, it's like wah 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 wah. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of players, whenever they hear media talk, they just automatically hear so. What are you um, yep. thinking about today? <laughs> I think that's just. So I apologize to all media people that have offended by that. But if you're offended by that. You probably think you sound like that. And maybe it's time to change. (laughs) Always good time to change. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to our humble abode, the Thunderdome. On this Winter Wednesday, May 17, 2023, this sports program starts right now. Welcome Welcome back. back. Come on now. It's a cool thing with how passionate people are and how mad people got. Please have faith that we will be able to produce a show that is entertaining and still our soul and our spirit because that is literally what the entire conversation was. The backlash, the negativity that happened on Twitter, what? YouTube, what? my Instagram, what? my wife's Instagram. What? People are commenting on my wife's Instagram calling her, uh, her husband and new baby's father is a sellout or whatever. It's like, oh, motherfuckers, I have no idea. What are we even talking about? But I think we have a real opportunity here to change sports media as a whole because just like Stephen A and Skip had success and everybody wanted to replicate it if we're able to get in there and showcase that hey you're able to cover sports in a celebratory fashion in a way that you're happy for people as opposed to trying to prove why people shouldn't be in the position that they're in I think there's a chance that that could maybe ooze into other decisions that are being made and we have a real opportunity here to change a narrative I think about an entire division of people sports media I think it's one that I'm incredibly honored to have I hope we have success I hope it works out great they're going to take it on the shins a lot the first couple weeks are already I'm getting fans of this show are right. murdering me right now for this <laughs> whole thing and it's like you have no idea but they're gonna take it as well and we've had numerous convos about how like hey let's go let's give mm-hmm. this a real go we're both gonna have to wade through a little bit but we'll be good in the end and I'm very 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 thankful that we're getting the opportunity to be on every single television in America yeah. I am so pumped to be a part of the ESPN please do not expect us in our situation to go the same way as others have in the past that's not how this brain works it's not how this whole thing works I feel like deep down I I have a good heart. I mean well. I feel like sports are a unifier. So I'm very comfortable being us and would never agree to something that we weren't. Because if we're to get attacked by somebody for saying shit or covering something in a funny way, I'm okay sitting in the pocket and defending us. Literally just happened with something that just got settled for yeah, no right. money at all. I just want to hear when you, when they said, how did they say it at the upfronts? How did you come out? Did you do like a WWE flex? Bro. Like, what, how did how did it, how did it go down? I didn't know what I was walking into. You've been to those before? Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is the corporate event. I mean, that is like, you know, like uh, comedians talk about like doing corporate events or speaking mm-hmm. at corporate events. And like, that, that was the suit Super Bowl. You knew that that's what I was walking into. I had, I had no yeah. idea, Herbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I the, the, the times I've done it, I'm the dummy that does what they say. You know, they're, they're like, okay, here's the pro- here's the prompter. You know, Al's going to say this. You're going to say that. I saw, like, words just moving. Nick in the back said, he's not reading the teleprompter. There's nothing. <laughs> that whole thing's happening. And then they just, the screen went black, the teleprompter. And then they put, like, a red X on it at one point. And then a wrap it up was put on there. And I'm going to start laughing or whatever. But, like, <laughs> big pop from the room afterwards where they are like, you didn't even read the – we were looking. You did not read the the teleprompter. It was like, no, I had no idea the teleprompter was that serious. <laughs> it's a serious ordeal. The teleprompter is a big part of the whole thing. I did not know that. I, I had no fucking idea, Herbie. Dude, wait, 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 wait. They thought 
thought you were going to read their script? I think so, yeah. I think they did. This consulting company. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was awesome, Herbie. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, everybody who's like, uh, oh, they're going to ruin them. Gonna like, how? What yeah. are we... <laughs> What are we even talking about? Sense. What do you have today? We're finishing up an extension with Mitch Trubisky. Okay! We feel good about our quarterback room, so that was an important piece. We got, you know, obviously Kenny Pickett's our starter, and we feel really good about Mitch Trubisky and the role he's in, and he feels good about it. And, you know, we've added Mason Rudolph, so we're really excited about that QB room. But there it is. That'll be done here shortly. Oh, look at this room! <laughs> oh! Hell yeah! Oh, well! How are you? How's the offseason? Man, I'm undefeated, so things are good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, when you lease an apartment in a building versus build a building, there's a little different, you know, business Views. that happens yeah. there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just standard business, real estate, which is kind of what this is. Don't want to get too deep into it, but yeah. enough with the disrespectful shit, please. Yeah, that's please. right. The salads has turned out to be kind of sweet. Fun. Yeah, yeah kind of off. Yeah. Although I was thinking, like, if I'm taking the trash out and someone pulled up in a car, rolled down their window and said, like, good morning, you woke pussy bitch and then just <laughs> floored it and drove away. That'd be pretty funny. I'd, yeah. probably, get a, I'd probably get a pretty good chuckle out of that. Face to face. Keep those off. coming. Yeah. Keep those coming. Yeah. And we haven't won a world championship in 54 years. This fan base has suffered long enough. We've been, we've been in the desert. We've been waiting for the water. And Aaron... Rogers has got the water. Let's go. Let's Out. go. Out of the darkness Whoa. with the water into New York, New Jersey. And the Jets fans obviously optimistic for the first time, long time, as you should be. We think it's going to be a fantastic fit. We think you're going to have a lot of success. Could you imagine World Championship? First time, 54 years. You at the Super Bowl. Oh. 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 J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Oh, what a thing, bro! <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, Ed. Could you imagine that? Over half a century. What a time yes. that was. Yeah, everybody. J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Go ahead, baby. Hey. Fan base. We've been starving. They're hiding in the weeds for yeah. years. Hell yeah. Afraid to wear their stuff. The Jeff fans enjoy the journey. I hope we can win a world championship. I feel we will with Aaron Rodgers. And I hope we all can raise that Lombardi trophy. But first, but first, yeah. I want to have home field advantage. And I want to raise that Lamar Hunt trophy in our house. Yeah, It's a pleasure. Real, real fucking pleasure to sit here and listen to you do the J-E-T-S chant. I hate it. I hated it before today. I still continue to hate it. I hate it actually even more now that I'm talking to you. And, you know, you said a lot there. Why don't you worry about winning the division, okay? We're talking AFC championships. We're talking Super Bowls. This is what the Bills fans did. Don't be like the Bills fans. The team that actually plays in New York, might I remind you. But with that being said, with that being said, with that being said, don't you feel like deep down, underneath everything, that these New York football Jets are going to fuck it up. Don't you feel that <laughs> just a little bit? And after all Never. this time, after all you this got promise. The, you, got, you, got, you got the wrong fan. <laughs> my, my glass is always half full. Boom. Always half full. Should be. All right. So first off, if you want to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. Oh, yeah. We got to go through Buffalo and we'll, we'll win the division. We got to go up and we got to go to Kansas City. We're going to play Kansas City. Well, they're actually coming to us. And we got to beat Kansas City. Ooh. The mission, stack the wins, home field throughout the playoffs, and the Jet fans will do the rest. Hell the yeah. Jet fans will do the rest. And we'll take care of your New England Patriots because we owe you guys big time for a good 20 years. Yeah. And we remember the 50 burger and we remember the celebration. It's a big uh -huh. burger. Uh -huh. And the homecoming with Richard Seymour. Uh -huh. And we remember Bill Belichick, clam face, chowder head. We remember yeah. him. Hell yeah. You know, remember how miserable he is and how he hates us. We don't forget nothing. None of good. Listen, it's got to be done on the field and we're going to do our part as Jeff fans. And that's all we could do.